Hi guys, good day. This is me again, Sir Jiggs. And in today's session, we will be learning on how to solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. So I know in my past videos, kita luan na how to factor, how to extract the square roots, or how to complete the square para masolve na to ang values of x sa quadratic equation. However, na ay mga times nga if you are tasked to solve a certain quadratic equation na dili ma-factor or dili magamit tong upang nga method, so that's the reason why our last option is to use the quadratic formula. So what is this quadratic formula? So ginatawag na itong quadratic formula, the solutions of any quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, can be determined using this formula. So muna siya itong formula itong sundun. x equal to negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, meaning to say, kaninga method ng atong gamiton, it's pure substitution. So, especially katong mga incoming grade 9 students, then atong first topic is more of quadratic uh, equations. Muni siya ang pinaka something na dapat inyo nga mabalan or dapat inyo ma-memorize. Okay, just in case na ay ipa, ipasolve yung quadratic equation, then nalimut mo kung saan pag-factor, muni maka-save di mo. That is the reason why it's really important to memorize this formula. Example, we will try to solve this equation using quadratic formula. 5x squared plus 14x plus 9 is equal to 0. So, unsa na una ubrahon? What is the first thing that we need to do? Anyone? Again, it's identifying the values of your a, b, and c. So, I'm pretty sure sa dapat in aning time, dapat kabaluna yun mumu identify sa itong value sa A, B, o C. Kaya kung di niya po kakabalo, useless lagyan po ang formula. So, what is the value of our A? Kung A na gani, hunahunaan siya din ang quadratic term. Quadratic term, x squared. So, on sa ito pa sa x squared, 5. B, hunahunaan din linear term. On sa ito pa sa x, which is 14. Constant term. Kung constant term, gani, meaning constant. Meaning, numbers na rin siya, walay variable. So, sa kanina equation, it's 9. So, again, your A is 5, B is 14, C, 9. So, nanata ang values atong A, B, o C. Kay since kanin quadratic formula is just pure substitution, isubstitute na rin nato sa formula. So, unsay una nakasula sa formula, negative B. Kung sa'y value sa itong B, it's 14. So, negative, copy, then 14. Copy the positive and negative sign. Then, write the radical sign. Then, kung sa'y isulti din una, B squared. So, kung sa itong B, 14. So, 14 squared. Next, copy minus sign. Then, 4. 4. So, meaning kaning 4 gani, di na siya maisila na it's part of the formula. So, ayun, did you mo mag ubra, -ubra 3 na or 5 or more than 5? Kay 4, lagi na siya. Okay? So, write 4. Then, A. What is the value of our A? 5. So, so lastly, 5. 9. Imong C, right? So, for A, C. So, C is 9. Then, all over. Divide mo sa 2A. So, same goes. 2. 2, lagi na ang sa denominator. Di mo nga kukuha na. Number, dili siya pwede ma 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, ayun dyan, kalimot-limot sa formula because this will definitely help you to solve for the x or solve for the roots of a quadratic equation. So, 2, then what is the value for a? That is 5. So, what's na itong next at ubrahon? Solve for the value of x. So, we will multiply negative to 14. So, that's the reason why negative 14. Copy din ang positive o ang negative sign. Square root of, so here's the thing, 14 squared. Kung ang ang squared, it's like multiplying the number by itself. So, 14 times 14, it's 196. Clear? Next, negative 4 times 5 times 9. So, negative 4 times 5, that's negative 20. Right? Okay. Unlike signs man sila, negative o positive, so, negative jud ang product. Alright? So, that's negative 20. 
So, ang kanyang negative 20, ang product nila, i-multiply nyo siya sa 9. So, negative 20 times 9, that's negative 180. Clear? So, ang sulod sa ato ang square root nga sign or ang atong radical sign would be the difference of 196 and 180. Then, i-divide nyo siya sa uh, tanan sa product sa 2 of 5. So, what is 2 and 5? That is 10. Clear? I just make it slow because para makasabot ang tanan. So, what is next? Copy ya po. Negative 14. Positive, negative. So, what is the difference? 196 minus 180. So, ang 196, gikwaan of 180. So, pili mabilin, that's 16. So, square root of 16 all over 10. Alright, so, on say square root of 16. So, that is 4. So, therefore, x is equal to negative 14, positive negative 4, all over 10. So, for us to solve for the value of x, if you notice, dua ka signs diri. Therefore, there should be two linear equations. Ang una isang positive root, positive 4. Ang ikaduwa, negative 4. Ang atong gamitan. So, we'll, uh, we will solve the first root. x is equal to negative 14 plus 4 all over 10. So, what is the sum of negative 14 plus 4? That's negative 10 all over 10. So, negative 10 divided by 10, that's negative 1. Next, negative 14 minus 4 all over 10. What is the difference? That's negative 18. So, negative 18 all over 10. Then, lowest term. Simplify. Divide, uh, divide the numerator and denominator by 2. Negative 18 divided by 2, that's negative 9. Then, 10 divided by 2, that's 5. So, that's the reason why ang second value na to sa x, that's negative 9 over 5 or negative 9 fifth. Let's do the checking. So, the first thing that we need to do here is to substitute the value of your x to your original equation. O sige itong value sa unang x na to, that is negative 9 over 5. So, we will substitute that one to the original equation. So, that's 5 multiply by negative 9 over 5 squared plus 14 times negative 9 over 5 plus 9 is equal to 0. So, what is negative 9 over 5 squared? It's like negative 9 over 5 times negative 9 over 5. That is 81 over 25. So, ang 81 over 25, i-multiply ni mo siya sa 5. That is 405 all over 25. Pero kung ibutang na diri, lowest term na na. That's 81 over 5. Because 405 over 25, you need to divide the numerator and denominator by 5. So, 405 divided by 5, that's 81. Then, 25 divided by 5, that's 5. Then, isubtract na to ang product ni 14 o the negative 9 over 5. That is 126 over 5. Plus 9 is equal to 0. Here's the thing. Since this is similar fractions, so, the difference is easy. Okay, all you need to do is subtract from the numerator, then copy your denominator. 81 minus 26, that's negative 45. Then, copy 5. Plus 9 is equal to 0. What is negative 45 divided by 5? That is negative 9. Plus 9 is equal to 0. 0 is equal to 0. So, therefore, this is a solution. Alright, next. Our next root is negative 1. So, si negative 1 has said, E substitute tato sa original equation, which is 5x squared plus 14x plus 9 is equal to 0. So, 5 times negative 1 squared plus 14 times negative 1 plus 9 is equal to 0. What is negative 1 squared? It's like multiplying negative 1 by itself. Negative times negative, that's positive. So, positive 1 times 5, that's positive 5. 14 times negative 1, that's negative 14. Then, copy positive 9 is equal to 0. 5 minus 14, that is negative 9. Plus 9 is equal to 0. So, therefore, 0 is equal to 0. So, therefore, this is another solution. So, both solutions are valid. Alright? So, any questions? Clarifications? Masabtan ra?
Okay, we have another example. 8x squared plus 2x minus 50 is equal to 2x plus 6. Okay. Ayaw ka panic. Ayaw ka rattle. Because you see terms here. Dili sa right sa equation. Malibog din ka. Or it's like nga mag, mag blank out na ka. I'm here. And this is a tutorial. That's the reason why I'm here to teach you. So the first thing that you need to do, if you see terms gani sa right side sa equation, is you need to transfer all these terms to the left side of the equation. So it transfer si 2x, o si transfer si 6. So that's the reason why both sides of the equation, dapat may nasa ni mo og 2x, o 6. So mo minus kag 2x diri og 6, mo minus po kag diri 2x og 6. Clear? So that's the reason why 8x squared plus 2x minus 2x minus 50 minus 6 is equal to 2x plus 6 minus 2x minus 6. So, yung minus yung kag 2x o 6 both sides of the equation. After that, simplify. Kay since si 2x diri sa left side ma, cancel. So 8x squared is equal to 56. Kani diri siya, 0 gini ang nasa to ang right side. Kay remember ang standard form sa tong quadratic equation? ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, since na natay quadratic equation in standard form, o sige na itong unang ubrahon, that is to identify the values of your a, b, and c. What is the value for our a? Quadratic term, 2 pods x squared, that's 8. How about our b? Nabatay din your term, diri? May x bata? Wala. So, b is 0. How about our c? That is negative 56. Clear questions. So, after we identify the values of your A, B, and C, that's the time we substitute it to the formula. So, hala sulat din ka sa formula sa quadratic formula. X equal to negative B, positive negative, square root of B squared minus 4AC, all over 2A. So, copy the negative sign. What is your B? That's 0. Positive negative, square root of, what is your B? 0 squared minus 4. What is the value of our A? That's 8. How about your C? That is negative 56. All over 2A. 2, what is the value of our A? That's 8. Clear? So, manatag substitute. Then, we need to calculate. So, first, we need to remember that any number or variable multiplied by 0 is 0. So, kaning negative times 0, makancel ni siya dayon. Same goes sa 0 squared. So, ang next na obrahon is to copy the sign, which is positive and negative. Then, calculate the square root of your radicand. First, we need to get the product. Negative 4 times 8, that is negative 32. Multiply by negative 56, that's 1,792. All over, product of 2 and 8, that is 16. Okay, guys, we need to remember, negative times negative is positive. So, negative 32 times negative 56 is positive 1,792. Clear? But here's the thing. This is not yet final. We still need to simplify. Is 1,792 a perfect square? Perfect square ba niya number? Dili. So, in rules of simplifying radicals, we need to think of a pair of factors na perfect square. So, on say factors sa 1,792 nga perfect square. That is the product of 256 and 7. Because 256 times 7 is 1,792. So, we need to get the square root of 256 and square root of 7. So, we can actually write this uh, like this. Positive negative square root of 256 times square root of 7 all over 16. So, what is the square root of 256? That is 16. Then, pabilin rin 7 sa radical sign or ang square root nga sign. Okay, since this is not a perfect square, then all over 16. So, the value of your x would be positive and negative square root of 7. Kay kaning 16 diri, pwede ni siya makancel. 16 divided by 16, that's 1. Let's do the checking. For x equal to square root of 7, the first thing that we need to do is to substitute this value sa original equation, which is 8x squared plus 2x minus 50 is equal to 2x plus 6. 
So next is we need to substitute. So that would be 8 multiplied by the square of square root of 7 plus 2 times square root of 7 minus 50 is equal to 2 times square root of 7 plus 6. Next, what is the square of square root of 7? That is 7. Kaya ang exponent nga 2 o kang radical sign ma cancel. So 8 times 7, that is 56. Then, 2 times square root of 7, that's 2 square root of 7, minus 50 is equal to 2 square root of 7 plus 6. Then, you, you can actually subtract the whole numbers. 56 minus 50, that is 6, plus 2 square root of 7 is equal to 6 plus 2 square root of 7. Remember, you cannot add radicals with the whole number. So, stay as is, Raginisha. Next, for x is equal to negative 7, so again, we need to substitute this value to the original equation. So that would be 8x squared plus 2x minus 50 is equal to 2x plus 6. So 8 multiplied by the square of negative 7 plus the product of 2 and uh, negative square root of 7 minus 50 is equal to 2 square root of negative 7 plus 6. Then, what is negative square root of 7 squared? That is 7. So same. 8 times 7, that's 56. Then, minus 2 square root of 7 minus 50 is equal to negative 2 square root of 7 plus 6. So, 56 minus 50. That is 6 minus 2 square root of 7. So, therefore, they are equal. So, 60 minus 2 square root of 7 is equal to 6 minus 2 square root of 7. So, both solutions are valid. So, any questions, clarifications? So to wrap up this session, you're now able to solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. Again, please memorize the formula, which is negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The reason why I gusto na ko ipamemorize ni, because just in case, if you are tasked to calculate the roots of a quadratic equation, then dili siya ma-factor, dili siya ma-complete ang square, dili siya ma-extract ang square roots. Mauni yung last option para ma-solve ang quadratic equation. So please memorize the formula. And also, if you are tasked to use this formula in solving quadratic equation and you are given a quadratic equation nga wala sa standard form or dili sa standard form, the first thing that you need to do is to transform the equation first to the standard form para dali ra ang pag-identify sa A, B, o C. Okay, once ma-identify na nimo, you can substitute that one to the formula then solve for the values of x. Then after that, do the checking para sure ball good. So hopefully you learned something for today. Again, this is Sir Jiggs. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I click on the subscribe button below along with the bell for notifications for my new tutorial soon. So thank you for today and have a great day.